grass, greener, sky, blue, image. It's soft, and some like it hot. But how much can you take? The hotter they can eat a chili, the more manly I think they think they are. And is it worth all the preparation? If I see a little globule of fat, that would give me a breakdown. Do you understand? Why not let your guests decide? To the chef. TV dinners tonight at 8.30 on 4. A wild journey through a myriad of belief systems. From rebirthing to goddess worship. From acupuncture to chaos magic. Pete McCarthy on a new quest. Desperately seeking something. Monday at 8 on 4. What special features do you look for in a new house? Good workmanship? Decent sized rooms? Decorative cornicing, perhaps? Well, perhaps you should look for some less obvious features below ground like a toxic landfill site or methane gas because for some people those are the kind of features that have turned a dream home into a bit of a nightmare so before you buy find out more in dispatches tonight at nine on four over on itv is it legal and on the menu here on four hot stuff for the ladies and the obsessive cook preparing her last supper tv dinners next I hope Mum's all right shopping on her own. She's not very good with gadgets. Safeway are now expanding their revolutionary shop and go system into over 100 stores. I mean, she hasn't got a clue how to work our video, has she, Dad? Shop and go lets you scan your own shopping as you go along, so you don't waste any time at the checkout. Are you two ready, then? That was a bit quick, Mum. You couldn't go around again, could you? Shop and go, only at Safeway. Carte noire. Try to remember when life was so tender and dreams were kept beside your pillow and follow, follow. Carte noire. Un café nommé désir. Since last year, a million more customers every week fill up with Esso. But why? Have we introduced a driver pampering program? Or funkier forecourts? Or is it that since starting Price Watch, we've kept Esso fuels at supermarket prices? There's only one way to find out. Spend over £299 on anything at Comet right now, and we'll give you a Sky Satellite system absolutely free. We'll even put it up for free, too. So look for the Comet Price Index in Saturday's papers. You'll find the lowest prices around, plus a Sky Satellite system, absolutely free. Better come to Comet. One big box of Purcell holds up to 40 clean, bright washes. Rugged washes, colorful washes, daily washes, gentle washes. And a new cup which shows you exactly how we measure them. So for loads and loads and loads of value, just look for the basket on the box. Who's the guy like a human bow can shift 10,000 tons of coal? Can I dig it, mate? Who digs half a dozen pits after a bowl of weeks of mix? That's our shaft, you know. He's five pits down, ten along, straight past Bristol, going strong. You all right? Yo. Wait a minute. Once we've started you, there's no stopping you. After the stresses and strains of our day, we just let the essential oils in a Radian B aromatherapy bath help us unwind, don't we? Number five. Number five. <gasps> Number 
Not five. If I was a dad. I wanna be kissed by you, just you. Nobody else but you. Number five. Safeway's green boxes make it quicker to unpack at home, too. It's a new world record. Linford would be proud of you, Mum. Shop and go. Only at Safeway. Oh, Jackie, I'm nothing without you. You've lost me, and you've lost Josh. You're nothing, Jimmy! Not everything's black and white in Brookside Close. The week of turmoil starts Monday at 8.30 on 4. A web of lies and deceit. I had a couple of drinks, that's all. A father searching for the truth. Who gave you the moral right to sit behind that wheel? How the hell do you sleep at night? And the prosecution wanting nothing but justice. License to kill, tonight at 10 on 4. It's raw, it's fresh, it's 4. Later, I'll be finding out why the ingredients for this woman's stock travel into city on the Vealbone Express. But first, I've got to get to the ball game. playing ball. Some like it hard, some like it soft, and some like it hot. None more so than the Langtoff Chili's baseball team. Pitcher Steve Donovan and catcher Eddie Baines share a passion for cool 1950s Americana, which is matched only by their enthusiasm for Mexico's hottest food export. That was a great catch here. Uh, it was the chewing gum in the glove. No, it was the uh, chili on the shirt. <laughs> the chilli obsession, it's basically taken us as far as it can go. I mean, we've now got chilli baseball team. Um, I now produce a range of chilli t-shirts, grow our own chillies, cook with as many different varieties of chillies as we, we can find. Steve's brewed a beer that has uh, chillies in it. Um, and we have chillies for breakfast. Scrambled egg and chillies. I can't think of... We occasionally eat a meal that doesn't have chilies in, but... We sleep and dream of chilies. Another thing Steve and Eddie share today is a wedding anniversary, ten and nine years respectively, and tonight they're cooking their wives a celebration dinner. That can mean only one thing, loads of chilies. People who don't eat chilli think chilli hot, and they just think about the heat. They don't think about the other flavours and the, the different ways that they can be presented and the different nuances you will get using them in different ways. And also people don't want to be mistaken with thinking that dried chilies are a poor substitute for fresh chilies. Right. It's not until it's dried that it picks up a lot if more flavour. If you take a good, um, a good sniff at that, you, you, could, you could tell that obviously mm. through the drying process... This it smells like tobacco, sort of a bit like tea, yeah. It's very scented. Yeah. It's very scented. I mean, I don't know how hot this is, but I it's, imagine that... It's about two, two on the scale, out of t two to ten, so I mean, you're talking of very mild, really. They've basically taken it with a habanero at ten, ten out of ten, and then they've obviously got your bell pepper, which is zero, and anything in between. It's graded accordingly. Yeah. And you so look, there's nothing known hotter than that? No. So if I pop that in my mouth, that would be a big mistake. It would be a big mistake. It would be very amusing. It would be fun for us. <laughs> But it'd be a big mistake. I think I'll put that just down there. Although you may never ever do it when you're cooking. When you cook with chilies, you invariably wipe your eye yeah. afterwards and you soon know about it. Yeah. Mm. That's not the only dodgy, that's not the only risky thing, is it? No, not at all. <laughs> I found out today that both our wives have 
caught us leaning over the sink and trying to cool off those tender parts. <laughs> big hole Under a running tap. <laughs> yeah, which is a waste of time because the capsaicin is not water soluble. <laughs> it just... so, so you'd be better off <laughs> rubbing it with a loaf of bread, really. Rubbing yeah. it or sticking it with sour cream. <laughs> right. The hotter they can eat a chilli or eat a raw chilli, the more manly I think they think they are. Yeah, it's like a pang barrier, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't think it's going to be a romantic evening at all. And they'll be so wrapped up in what they've cooked, they'll be busy talking about that. And if it tastes nice, when they cook yeah. something, if you don't say it's lovely all the time, they think you don't like it or there's something wrong, so you've got to say, oh, this is lovely, this is, oh, the taste of this is it's magic. Good. It was time for Steve and Eddie to show me a bit of their chilli magic with their version of a classic Mexican mole sauce. This basically contains uh, anchos, a couple of anchos that are soaking. A mm, little bit of green coming Yeah, back. so you can see the original colours are all coming, coming back into the chilies. And it's releasing more, even more of the flavour mm. as well. So you've got the sillas here, which are the long ones, which are going to be going into the mole sauce. And they're getting nice and soft as yep. well. You've got the mulatto, which is coming into its own. As you can see, it's getting, it, it expands. Mm. It really starts it. getting quite fleshy again, yeah. doesn't it? Quite yeah. weighty. Um, that's the Holy Trinity of the three, the three classic chilies for the classic mole. Are you putting chipotles in this mole? No, because I've, I've got chipotles on oh, um, sure. for yeah, the, the ancho sauce. So. In Mexico, a mole will have anything up to 80 different ingredients. Steve's pared down version has around a dozen. Sesame seeds and all the other spices toasted on a dry skillet to intensify the flavours. While the skillet's still hot, we'll toast three cloves, star anise, about an inch of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of coriander seed. The toasted spices are ground in a coffee grinder, then all the ingredients go into a blender. There's the toasted raisins, there's the uh, almonds, two cloves of garlic, Onions. That's what, half an onion? Yeah, half an onion. Yeah, half a good size onion. Right, and now the chilies. All going. Last to go in is the holy trinity of ancho, mulatto, and persilla chilies. All that's needed in the way of a stock is the water they've been soaking in, now rich with chilli flavours. Most of that, do you think? Yep. Yeah, pour it then. All of it? Keep going. Need enough for that, that'll do. Yeah? Yep. Just, and the ground spice is going last. The mole is then re-fried to cook the raw garlic and onions in the sauce. But two vital ingredients remain to be added. This is really good Mexican chocolate. Really is good stuff. Try that, Hugh. Mmm. That's extraordinary because it's not like a solid emulsified chocolate bar. It's like packed together. It's like almonds, cocoa, and sugar and cinnamon all packed together in a little block. Exactly. And then finally, you put in uh, some chili beer. Chili beer. Chili beer, brewed, brewed in the garage. Basically, That's your home brew, is it? My home brew, yeah. Mm. It's, it's not. You normally put beer in a mole, would you? Uh, no, this is my own. Uh, Sort of addition because a beer is a good stock anyway. It's got some smoked chilies and some chipotles, so you get a sort of a smoky stout taste. This way. Good evening, ladies. My name's Eddie. I'll be your waiter for this evening's <laughs> anniversary meal. This is our head cook. I'm the bus boy, Steve. 
If anything goes wrong, it's his fault. <laughs> the chili feast got off to a fiery start with spicy guacamole and Steve's pineapple salsa made with the habanero chili. That's 10 out of 10 on the hotometer. And to cool off with, lashings of chili beer. Quite a bit hot, isn't it? <laughs> 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 oh, these are the um, fresh habanero in there. Thought a half will be enough, I think. Otherwise, it'd just be me, me and Ed eating. And then came the main event lime marinated shark steaks griddled on the skillet. A novel companion for the lovingly prepared mole sauce. Two more dainty garnishes of sour cream and chipotle sauce complete the presentation. Look at that, eh? We could charge all, all of £30 for that one, don't we? But how much would it be worth to the waiting wives? Enjoy oh, it's very meal. tender, isn't it? <laughs> That's mole sauce. All the eyes are on the table, isn't it? Nice. <laughs> Different. <laughs> yeah. Bit of sweet, isn't it? Yeah. You have got the lime on the um, shark, which makes it quite sort of tangy, you know. It's a bit hot. Oh, it's nice. What do you reckon, Ed? <clears throat> Great texture on the shark. Mm. The sauce is a bit rich for me. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Probably all that chocolate in there. <laughs> and in case the heat had all been too much, the meal ended with Eddie's refreshing lime sorbet. No prizes for guessing what the little red bits are. Got any bases? So, what is it? It's a sorbet. Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, it's not lime or lemon, isn't it? It's got chilies in it. And what else? Tequila. Nope. I hope it's not tequila because I lose my head on tequila. <laughs> it's lime and chilies. It's a sorbet. It's to round off the meal. But there is Alcohol. one final ingredient. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> A lack of confidence can come from a phobia, being frightened, snakes, or spiders, and a fear of small spaces, but that's one phobia we can't help you with. A new Citroen Saxo is available with power steering, specially engineered to give maximum power the slower speed. And meter mate phobia? Incurable. Daybreak in the Arctic. The polar bear rises, ready to start his day, with his diet of fish, fish and, oh, something called Quaker Hot Oat Crunch. How extraordinary. It contains delicious apple and raisins, is ready in just 45 seconds, and has all the crunchy taste of a cold cereal. Only it's hot. Uh -huh. New Quaker Hot Oat Crunch. All the taste of a cold cereal. Only it's hot. There is a powerful remedy for the four main symptoms of flu. New Benelin Full Flu Hot Drink for powerful flu relief. What is it that people like about BT's friends and family? You just get 10% off the five numbers that you've chosen. You can speak more for less. I use it to the mobile phone. It's a big saving to me. Very easy to join. I phoned uh, a free phone number. You can save 10% with BT's friends and family. Call 0800 05 55 55. Every time you use one of the numbers, 
you're saving. I don't have to think how long I've been on a call. I keep phoning my boyfriend who's in Greece. We keep the whole relationship over the phone. It's good to talk. Carte noire. Try to remember when life was so tender and dreams were kept beside your pillow and follow, follow. Carte noire. Un café nommé désir. Okay. Bye then. Bye, love. You have a lady friend, have you? No, Mum, it was British Gas. British Gas? At this time? Oh, yeah, the lines are open from 8 till 8 to answer any queries about your meter or your bill. Nothing's too much trouble for them. They're even open sat this till 6. You wouldn't be using good old British Gas as a decoy for your shenanigans, would you, Malcolm Merton? No, Mum. You know, you can always talk to me. I'm your mother. That's what I'm here for. There's nothing I'd like more than to see you start courting. So, was it a lady friend? Well, yeah, I met her on the bus. Well, don't think you're bringing that trollop back here, Casanova. Get up to your box room. British Gas, open weekdays 8 to 8. See, ma'am. In this tiny hamlet in the Yorkshire Dales, an era is coming to an end. For three years now, pots and pans full of good things have been